This is Jim Reinbold with Carlson Software. And this is Mark Silver with iGage. Hey Jim, I've been watching you this morning. You're doing all kinds of crazy stuff with your mouse that I have never seen before. So I want you to go through and show the basic mouse movements and the button stuff. Okay. The, the left mouse button is basically just for selecting things. You pick a point and you can create windows with it. The right mouse button, which I just clicked, well, cancel you out of a command. So let's go through this again. Left button selects. A right mouse click, depending on what you're doing with it, will offer different options. A simple right mouse click brings up a series of editing commands. Now, you just clicked in an open area in my drawing. Yep. What happens if I click on a point? Well, if you've selected something, so we'll zoom in here and select a point, and I right click, I get very similar options on how to edit those including the properties list for that particular. Now if I select a polyline and right click then I get polyline specialized tools, tools yeah. such as polyline edit. Again I can still go to properties and do some of the other standard commands. Okay, and that's a right click. What if I'm left-handed? Everything reverses, right? Everything pretty much reverses. That's a setting in Windows right. to control how the mouse works. Okay. Now there's one other button on this mouse that we haven't touched on yet and that's the middle button. The middle button, by default, behaves when you scroll it as a zoom in out. And it's zooming about the point where your cursor is. Oh, okay. So if I want to move over on a sheet, I can do it simply by controlling where my cursor is when I scroll. Okay. Right. If I click and hold it down, it turns into a little hand, and I can pan around the drawing. Okay, so that's the middle button pushed and held. You're not rolling it, you're just pushing the mouse around with the middle button pushed right. down. If your middle mouse button's not behaving this way, it's probably a variable setting in CAD. That variable is called M button pan. Type that at the command line and hit enter, and make sure it's turned on. If it's not turned on, I can just type on here. Right. If it's turned off, then when you click the middle mouse button, you get a list of your entity snaps. I don't want that. I like to move it. I like to use my entity snaps, and I'm just hitting enter here to bring up the last command. We'll turn this back on. I like to use my entity snaps um, sparingly. Some people will set them up down here as what they call running snaps in their settings, and they check on a variety of these, and those are always available. I tend to not want to use those because it brings them up at times I don't need them. So what I do is I hold down my shift key and right click and that brings up my entity snaps. So if I hold the shift key and right click anywhere I'm going to get entity snaps. You get That's your pretty entity convenient. Snaps. So That's now I can I grab endpoints or nodes, whatever I need. And just escape to close that down. Okay. So we've gone through various zooms and so on. Now what happens if I use shift and my middle mouse button. Oh. This brings up uh -oh. a 3D uh, view that I can use to rotate this. It's what they call a sphere rotation in IntelliCAD. I have some points that are, those are actually point labels, I believe. So that they're are at zero well, elevation. Our elevation labels are at zero. And so now we get a 3D view of our contours on the site. Worse, uh, oh, this is bad. Well, some people want to check this out and make sure it's working right. So that was a shift, shift and middle button. And hold down the middle button like you're going to pan. Okay, now I guess I could line those things up again if I was, like, really careful, but I won't be able to get them exactly right. How do, I mean, undo? Well, the other thing to be aware of is this can cause some other problems. You may find that your entity snaps don't behave properly here. Yeah. Uh, my elevation labels I can't get to. Um, it may cause problems with the associated uh, wipeouts with those. Yeah. Arrowheads won't be filled in. They'll just be outlines. That's not good. So it's a sign that you're not in the proper coordinate system. How do I fix it? Easiest way to get back from here into your normal coordinate system is type the word plan. Okay. Hit enter. And it's asking for what coordinate system you want to use. World. The one that is typically used is going to be your world coordinate system. And it should usually be your current one as well. But you hit enter there and it takes you back into your standard plan view. That was simple. I'm not going to forget that. Thanks, Jim. You bet.